to resist the promises made by those who would divide us and tell us that we are more empowered when we are divided, that I can only be safe at the expense of someone else. A call to inclusion means we are not going there, no matter how tempting it is to attempt to make sure that I am safe at your expense. All must equally be included. All must equally be safe. What are you As a rabbi, I speak to the Jewish community specifically in the following way. There are ways of acting. There is a path which is specifically Jewish. It empowers Jews to act ethically in the face of this challenge. My message to Jews, therefore, is become as immersed as you can in your culture, in the strength that it offers you so that you can act. You can't put a hand out and say, here, take my hand and let us walk together if you don't know who you are who is holding out the hand. And you won't be very strong to hold out the hand if you don't know where you're coming from first. So first, drink from our own wells, drink deep from our own tradition, so that we are grounded and steady and strong to reach out our hands. And then second, never believe that only among ourselves is our answer. That truth is not the message of any one group. All of us have a glimpse of truth, and none of us will be correct, and none of us will be ethical, and none of us will be safe if we drink only from our own well. Each of us has to bring the strength we have and share it at a larger feast. Each of us has to bring what we have to strengthen each other. And that is the only way in which we will be strengthened back. I'm a postmodern 21st century female liberal rabbi. And strangely enough, that makes me old fashioned in my tradition. To be postmodern, I've decided, is to see modernity as a bump in the road. It had some values, vaccination, for example, you know, other interesting things. But modernity has also been uh, a period of time which has been very challenging for peoples. Modernity has tried to teach us that we're better off if we flatten out our differences and all pretend that we're the same. And that's a dead end we are discovering now because it's not so easy, we see. Uh, we really are specific, particular people. And we need to learn to take pride in that again. We need to learn to take pride in our distinctive dress and our mannerisms and our ways and our culture and our food and our, our prayer and our expressions. I derive a great deal of strength from engaging in Jewish practices and Jewish spiritual observance with my community. Primarily, study, learning, constantly trying to dig more deeply into our sacred texts. Secondly, in prayer, communal prayer, personal prayer, constantly trying to give myself time regularly to consider and meditate upon what I'm learning, and thirdly, to be engaged in practices of not just justice, but loving kindness, which is the Jewish tradition. Justice is expected, but you can do justice and be cold. We are called upon to practice loving kindness. So from my perspective, that which strengthens me in these days is to be rooted in that which has always strengthened my people. And I'm grateful for that.